Well, hello everybody. Doing a little video this morning. I haven't done a lot of video on the farm stuff lately for some reason. Um, and what I'm doing today is bailing some hay. And uh, it's been a little bit of an interesting meal because it rained about a week before I cut this hay and the ground still had some moisture in it. And it has been blazing hot. We've had close to 100 every day for the last, you know, three, four days a week, whatever. So I, I raked this hay last night and it's it's got to be close to 90 right now and trying to bail this with a little bit of moisture in it. And in our country, in eastern Utah, we don't get cut for dew. At least I don't wear on that. Um, so I'm trying to, to play the game as far as bailing the hay with a little bit of stem moisture. I bought a new moisture tester and uh, the stuff I've read on the internet says 15 to 18% is ideal. I bailed a few bales and been up in the in the upper 20s, so I've just kind of been waiting. So I'm, I'm hoping that uh, I'll be able to get a bale and and we'll get be able to get right on to getting this hay bale. So I'll uh, I'm about ready to make a bale. So what I do, I'll uh, go out there and we'll see what the moisture test says. All right, guys. So I made a bale. Um, I, I made a few bales and they've all tested high. So I've got this. Actronics HT Pro moisture probe, so we'll see what it says. So the instruction says you just stick it in the bell, push this button right here, and it'll tell you what it is. So that's saying 8.5%, and the lowest percentage this thing reads is 8. That's showing 14.5. That's showing 19. Showing 18. Oh, still climbing a little bit, 20. All right, well, the highest reading I got on that was 20. They, the stuff I've seen on the internet, 15 to 18 is ideal. I think this is gonna be great. Hey, I'm gonna just go right to town bailing. I'm gonna maybe check three or four more bales on it, but I bailed some last night in the outside rows and they were they were real thin. My, my water deal kind of got messed up. And uh, so they were reading anywhere from, I had some, you know, 10 to 12 up to the mid 20s, but I had more in the 20s and I did below 20, so I stopped last night. But uh, I'm hoping it's ready to go. But to me, I think this moisture content's about right. So we'll keep going. I'll uh, make some more bales and I'll bring you along as we do some more testing. All right, well, I've made three or four more bales and I want to keep testing these for a minute because this side of the field is quite a bit thinner than the other side. So if it seems to keep contest, uh, testing consistently, we'll just we'll just run with it. And then, you know, when we get halfway across the field, we'll try testing them again. So I'll show you what we got. Fifteen percent. That's showing just a little bit higher. Twenty two. Fourteen. Nineteen. Seventeen. So everything I read on the internet said that eighteen is your is your ideal. And you can see that it's pretty inconsistent. We had some fourteens and some twenty twos in the same bell. Everything with the exception of one probe was under twenty. I think I'm gonna run with it and it's like I say, it's probably close to 90 degrees, if not over 90 right now. I know the hay's just going to keep getting drier, so I don't think there's any chance of having spoilage or anything in that hay. So I think it's going to be good. So the whole interesting thing about this farming deal for me is a small 50 acre farm, but I've had a real consistent hay customer and he has a small dairy. And this year they started testing hay. My first crop hay tested horribly. It was the relative food value was really right on the bottom. So 
he took a, a few semi loads and says they're not interested in the rest of it so i'm gonna i'm gonna keep testing i've decided that if i'm gonna be farming you about have to try to use all the tools you can to make it the best job you can so we're gonna test all of this hay and uh, i'll uh, i'll do a follow-up video and let you know what it does but uh, you know this farm that i'm on right now i planted it just a couple years ago and it never did do very well and there's quite a bit of grass in it i'm wondering if this this particular piece of ground is never going to test good until i plow it up again so i hope that's not the case but. all righty we'll keep bringing you along all right guys well i come down to check this smaller field i got uh, everything done but this one little three acre field and uh, hopefully you guys see what the weather's doing it rained like a son of a gun here it only rained for five minutes so i thought i'd come down and check it and of course it's too wet to bail it's funny because it's just wet right on top and i think that dry hay just soaks that water in so who knows what i'll get if it rains again it may be another three or four days before i can bail this so i don't know i got 47 acres of my 50 acre farm bell before the rain comes so i guess we'll be grateful for that we're gonna wrap it up for today uh just ask you guys to subscribe if you haven't yet appreciate everybody that has and uh, we'll wrap it up for the night